Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, the number one Viskins fan extraordinaire, Adam Boyer. Today we're back with finally another commentary video, taking a break from the Falcons franchise for a while. Hopefully uh, I'll remember to link a playlist to that if you're interested in watching that. Hopefully I'll remember in post-editing to uh, link a playlist to that. So uh, yeah, go check that out if you like Madden content. And yeah, today we're going to be discussing if the Washington Commanders will have a top 10 offense or defense this year. And before we get started, I have a couple of things to say. First of all, as you can probably hear, I have a bit of a cold. So uh, my apologies if I sound a bit nasally or anything. And then, announcement number two, and this was going to require a breaking news graphics. So let's throw it up on the screen. Okay, you've seen that now. Here's the breaking news. I am starting a Patreon account. It should be linked in the description. Uh, if it's not, by the time this video comes out, that means I don't quite have it up yet. But it will either be linked in the description or you'll be able to get to it on the channel or in other videos very shortly. So make sure to check that out. Um, it has different tiers. So if you donate to me and help out the channel, you're obviously under no obligation to. But if you would, that would be fantastic. I'd appreciate it very much. Now, let's get into the video. So we're going to start off with a little more questionable one, and that is the commander's offense. I'm just going to run through the depth chart real quick so we can get all that down. Offensive line consists of Charles Leno, Andrew Norwell, Chase Roulier, Wes Schweitzer slash Trey Turner at right guard. We're not sure who's going to be starting there yet. And then at right tackle, the second year uh, right tackle. Oh, that was redundant. <laughs> Sam Cosme out of, I believe, Texas, if I'm remembering correctly. At quarterback, obviously, we have Carson Wentz, backed up by Taylor Heineke and fifth-round draft pick Sam Howell, who somehow fell to us in the fifth round. Um, obviously, at running back, we're going to have Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, and Brian Robinson, the rookie, I think, out of Alabama at running back. Receivers, we're going to have uh, Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Jahan Dotson, Deami Brown, and Dax Milne. I would guess that's going to be the starting five going into the year. Uh, that could definitely change. M Antonio Gandy-Golden might get some looks. Cam Sims will probably be in the mix there, seeing as how they extended him. And then, of course, at tight end, we have Logan Thomas and John Bates. And then uh, our third tight end, I think right now, is slated to be the rookie Cole Turner and maybe Samus Reyes as well. So uh, in the offseason, the Commanders did add Trey Turner and Andrew Norwell on the offensive line. Obviously, we got Jahan Dotson, which I think was a big pickup in my mind. I think he'll probably be the number two receiver. And then, of course, we got Brian Robinson, Sam Howell, Cole Turner. All uh, players, I think, could contribute at some point or another um, this year on the offense. I only, only way I see Howell getting any playing time, realistically, is probably... If the offense, or if we're, you know, the team really struggles and we're out of postseason contention near the end of the year, then Rivera, Rivera will probably throw in um, Howell in there for a while. So um, I would say <clears throat> probably not a top 10 offense for us this year. I think we have capable, uh, we're capable of being a lot better. I think Carson Wentz um, is going to be an upgrade, hopefully, over Heineke, although I think Heineke can definitely develop behind Wentz. I think the passing game's be much better uh, with Norwell and Trey Turner in the mix at guard. Um, I don't know how much of an upgrade that is over Flowers and Scherf. Maybe a little bit. Uh, not over Scherf, obviously, but Eric Flowers always are a, you know, a fill-in guy. He was never intended to be long-term. I think a, um, AG will have a probably a pretty good third year. And so I would see probably the offense being around the f number 15 to 20 range. I don't think we'll be... Um, top 10 might not quite crack the top half in terms of best offenses, but I do, don't think we'll be worse than the 20th um, fall down below 20 in terms of offense in this upcoming season. And with that, we will move on to defense. Obvious place to start is our strong point, the defensive line, and that would be Chase Young, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Montez Sweat. Those are our starting four. Backing them up, we have Casey Tuhill, we have James Smith-Williams, uh, Daniel Wise, and of course the kind of elephant in the room, Fidarian Mathis, the second-round pick out of Alabama. Uh, the Commanders have had very good luck with Alabama defensive tackles, see Jonathan Allen, and so, uh, yeah, I'm excited about Fidarian Mathis. I think he'll be a great guy to come in and relieve Allen and Payne, and maybe if we run any five defensive linemen sets, that could be 
very dangerous. Moving on to the linebackers, I think this is probably the weakest spot on our defense, maybe even on the team, uh, it, but it, it might not be. Cole Holcomb, obviously playing middle linebacker now. I think he's poised for a big season. Uh, Jamin Davis will be, I think, right outside linebacker, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, hopefully he has a breakout year in year two. And then uh, left outside linebacker, I believe, will be Kaliki Hudson. Yeah, I uh, don't know what to expect from him. He's made some plays in the past. Never really much to put on, uh, much to show for the stats, though. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how our linebacking duo, or trio, I should say, is going to fare. Of course, backing up, you have Milo, Eifler, Jordan Kunichek, players like that. Um, and David Mayo, too. I forgot about him. I just saw it on my depth chart here. Yeah, so I do think there is potential. Uh, potential for our linebacker group and our front seven to be pretty good. Obviously, our defensive line is going to do well. Jonathan Allen can hopefully build off his really good campaign uh, last year in terms of sacks. Hopefully, the linebacking, uh, linebacking trio will kind of step up and make some more plays as well. Moving on to cornerback, we have Kendall Fuller, William Jackson, Benjamin St. Just, Corn Elder, Troy Apke, and Danny Johnson. And then Percy Butler as well, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I can see all these guys being in the mix for backup. Obviously, Fuller and Jackson are going to be our two starting cornerbacks. Not really any question there. Benjamin St. Just, if I had to guess, is going to be our third cornerback. And then um, either I would say probably Corn Elder or Percy Butler coming in at four. And then he and um, those two guys and Danny Johnson kind of just mixing in and out. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, Fuller and Jackson were not. Well, I think Fuller, I don't know that I'd say great, but he was really good last year. I'd say Jackson was not great, maybe not even good, but he was decent. He was serviceable, and hopefully he'll do better in his second year with the team. And then moving on to safety, of course, we have Bobby McCain and Cameron Curl. I would have loved to have seen the Commanders draft Kyle Hamilton when they had the chance, and if not him, get a receiver other than Dotson. I'm not going to complain about that now. I think McCain was fine last year. He led the le uh, not the league, huh? led the team with four picks. Cameron Curl entering his third year, kind of a big breakout year. Um, this defense, I think it's kind of boomer bust. I think we're going to do really good, or it's going to disappoint like it did last year. And right now, I'm leaning toward really good. I can see right now the Commanders having a top 10 defense. On paper, they might not look like the most talented group, but I think things are going to mesh together. They're going to rebound after a uh, disappointing 2021 campaign, and I see us getting anywhere probably from the number 8 to number 13 or 14 or so defense in the league. Hopefully top 10. So in conclusion, I do not think the offense is going to be top 10. I think it'll be around 15 to 20. I do think the defense has potential to be top 10. I'm not sure if they'll quite make it, but I do think they'll be right around the number 10 range. But let me know what you think. Down in the comments below, let me know what you think. If our team, our special teams even, you can throw that in the mix. Our defense, our offense, where do you think they'll rank in terms of uh, in the league? Where do you think they'll rank? Offense, defense, special teams. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget, check out the Patreon. But anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. Should be a button appearing for that. And don't forget to check out the uh, other playlists and videos that are hopefully appearing around me or have appeared in cards as well. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm the Vice Skins fan. I'm out of here. See you later.